and I just realised Harry Styles was playing in the background of all of that um, so I'm gonna have to delete all that footage because I don't want to get copyrighted don't copyright me Harry Styles to start a YouTube channel um, I don't know why um, no one's gonna watch this and if anyone from college sees this and hey basically it's my last year in college and I thought it would just be funny to add on to the stress I already have by editing YouTube videos you know but basically I'm gonna be vlogging today because me and my best friend Caitlin who you'll meet shortly um are going out basically we don't really know where we're going um because obviously caitlin's recently passed her driving test which is fun you know because she can drive me around now well basically um i'm just gonna start getting ready i'm dressed i'm just gonna wear my work clothes basically because i go work at six basically i'm just gonna get ready um i haven't done my face routine yet which i'll show you even though it's not very interesting, I was just putting stuff on my face and I just whacked myself on the face. It was literally raining two seconds ago. This is what it's like living in Wales, you know, it just doesn't make up as much. So yeah, let's, you know, what are other YouTubers say, like, let's get into the video and they'd swing their arms around, but I'm not going to do that because I just find it very cringy. Let's just get on with it. This is where I usually... I'm not showing you my desk because it is a literal mess. This is where I normally do my makeup or whatever because you're literally standing on a mirror. I'm really hoping you don't fall because, you know, that's the end of my phone. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing my True People Kindness jumper. So as you can tell, I'm a very big Harry Styles fan. Love the dude. So first off, I've only just started this routine. Um, I bought this gentle face wash from, so I do like what all the like YouTubers do, like, is that how you do it? I use one of these pads, um, so I pop it on here, rub it together, oh, that's sticky, I don't know. And then I use this. Nivea cream. Honestly, I've been using Nivea cream for a couple months now and it's the best thing ever. It helps my skin so much. Just gonna chuck a bit of that on. So I rub that in. I feel so better when my face is moisturised. I don't know why. And then I normally, I only got this recently for a gift, but um, I like to put a lip balm on. I, I didn't use this one before, I used this other watermelon flavoured one. That's ironic that I use watermelon flavour, but it's not on purpose. But I use the Malibu Lip Care Watermelon Flavour. Um, so that's on. I don't know whether to put makeup on or not. I've decided not to put makeup on. I thought you all should know that I decided to put makeup on because I'm going to work later anyway and I just have to take it all off because I don't like wearing makeup to work because I'm insecure. Sadly, I still look like shit. That's not true. Don't put it's yourself right, down fine. like that. Um, this is the next update. Um, I put makeup on. Caitlin is finally on her way. Um, if anyone knows Caitlin, you know that she's never on time, which is fine. I love her anyway. We know where we're going now. We're gonna go get some snacky things. Um, Caitlin does need to get petrol, so we'll probably be going there first. Um, and then we're gonna go up to Blanavon. There's a place up there, I can't remember what it's called. I will ask Caitlin when I see her. And just basically chill before I have to go to work. Um, I'm not excited for work. I'm really tired and I'm aching and it's just not great being a woman sometimes, you know? I will update you when I'm in the car with Caitlin. Anyone is wondering, this is Nala. Say hi, Nals. Um, where are you going? Ah! Bye. 
Hey, bitch. Me and Kaylin are getting the goods. I dare you to guess sushi. I really fancy donuts though. Do you know if they do donuts here? Yeah, I wonder. <gasps> We've got the goods. Trifle! <laughs> We're literally gonna share a trifle. In the car. Caitlin doesn't like donuts, but I got myself five custard donuts. Oh, Caitlin, did you know I made my own little um, intro? It's literally shit, but do you wanna see it? <laughs> So basically, we just parked outside Caitlin. She's just gone in to get her charger. We basically went into Tesco's and we got the goods. It is 10 past two right now. And there was freaking traffic on the way back from um, getting the goods. Can you appreciate how good I look right now? Like, I don't look- oh god. No, I've lost my lighting. Like, I don't look that bad at all. But yeah, I'm just waiting for- we're just waiting for Kate- we? Like, okay. I'm just waiting for Kate to now, um, so yeah. And then we're gonna be on our way. I literally haven't eaten all day, so... Don't judge us, we're eating trifle. Like, Basically, we're doing like, mm -hmm. um, we're doing like a Q and A. Well, not much a Q and A, just asking each other questions. Very boring, but it's fine. <laughs> well, by the way, they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Get you interrupted me. What embarrasses you? The what embarrasses you the most, or will be the your most embarrassing moment? I gotta think about this one. I'm trying to think because I am an embarrassment, so... That's not true, don't put That's yourself right. down fine. like that. Probably when I screamed in the cinema. <laughs> Basically, I didn't do it on purpose. Me, Caitlin, and my friend Toby. Hi, Toby, if you're watching this. Toby's made it to the vlog. <laughs> Basically, we went to the cinema to watch Candyman the other week. And, um, it was like this advert for The Walking Dead. And, like... It went off, and then you could do like laughing on the speakers or whatever, and then it's like zombie pops out on you. I've seen it before, like I was expecting it, but I think because I was like on edge with seeing a horror movie that I just screamed, screamed. But it wasn't like a little scream; it was a loud scream, and everyone heard it, and it was loads of people in the cinema. Yeah, that was my most embarrassing moment. <laughs> like, okay, I got it. Basically, right, I need to have a toilet, right? <laughs> Not a lot of people in my house lock the door. Oh, oh, here we go. So, I thought, okay, I go to the toilet. It was dark, right? So, and I kind of couldn't see the, bed, uh, the bathroom light on. So, I was like, okay, no one's in there. Bang, in, like, open the door. <laughs> there was someone in the bath. In the bath? <laughs> they didn't have the light on. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Who do you look up to the most and what qualities do you love about that person? That's a very hard question. So personal. Mm. That's a very hard one to answer. Am I allowed to say Harry Styles? <laughs> I feel like I should be say saying a family member, but... I don't think I could pin it down just one person. Mm. Harry Styles, because I don't want to say the actual person. I've just bit. I've just realised what I've done. <laughs> oh, what would be your perfect day out? Plan it from waking up to bedtime. So, like, having a lion. Obviously, no work. I just point out, no work. Um, being paid by work. Um, probably go so somewhere with you. I don't know where. Just going out basically, kind of like today, but minus the work. And also, I like a day where you're just in watching Netflix and like order a takeaway. Um, being able to have a lion, but not like a proper lion, like not until I, I like being not woken up, 
But I like going on days like where they start early. Yeah, like when when you wake up at like twelve, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. I feel like missed so half I'd the happily day. wake up at like nine ten. But then I'd I was want thinking like eleven, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'd go. Maybe somewhere with me, I don't know. It's totally awkward random. I feel like when we go to see Louis, it's going to be our perfect day. True, yeah. As long as there's no traffic. And then as long as I don't have to be in the car for seven hours. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> One way as well, mind. <laughs> How do you like to be comfort when you're sad or upset? I feel like I'm in therapy or something. Well, I'm like, when people ask if I'm okay, and I say, yeah, just leave it. I'll come to you when I'm okay. When I, when I want to talk to you. Hi. I like people to get out of me. Yeah. yeah, because I feel like it's never the right time to tell someone. Mm. So I'd rather someone keep on, me feel like, like, fuck it, I'll tell you, and then at least it's off my chest. So I wouldn't just sit around chin chill and be like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't just suddenly turn around to someone and say my problems because I'd feel like I'm bugging them. Mm. So I'd want someone to be like, I know you're upset, so you, are you going to tell me that? So I'd be like, they want to know. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, I get you. I get you, bro. I get you. What's your all-time favourite memory? That's actually a good question. Probably being at my One Direction concert, not gonna lie. Oh, and the time we took Simba out for a walk. And I chased him down the street. That was quite <laughs> That funny. was bloody hilarious. <laughs> Should have been vlogging then, to be honest. Yeah, that was... <laughs> You would have helped me. You would have just been there, like, recording me the well, whole time. I was helping you anyway, so at least happy to look at that yeah, probably my One Direction concert because it was a good night. It was my, it was literally the only concert I went to that I've ever been to, um, and it was a really good night. I was 11 years old and I was just bawling my eyes out. I just thought you had a chat to Harry at 11. 11, yeah. I literally thought he was going to take me backstage and everything. He might be the day to pass my test. Oh yeah. Not the morning of it because I was wearing my pants. I was fucking pacing the kitchen like, for you. Oh, my stomach was in knots. And the amount of sweating I was doing mm. is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and I wore a jumper. Why did you wear a jumper, you idiot? And I thought, oh, I'm all good. Like, he, was, he had a jumper on as well. Mm. I thought, oh, right, I've, I've decided the right thing. Yeah, but you, he wasn't sitting a freaking yeah, test. <laughs> we came up good, didn't we? Yeah. I'm not telling you where I am, just in case someone wants to try and fucking murder me. <laughs> Who was the last person that made you cry and why? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I cry a lot. Someone in my household. <laughs> it was probably me just being sensitive, but yeah. She still cried. I still cried. I don't know what I want to say, but I might make that. I was the last person that made her cry. When have you felt the most challenged? Fucking hell. Awesome. Probably right now. Like the thought of going to college and work, oh, I'm and like, and like completing the work as well. Um, my first time, basically, right, I went to pub. My first time on the bar, quite myself. <laughs> I really did. That was short and sweet. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? If so, are they? I have so many regrets. Oh, I feel like many. everyone has regrets. I have way too many. Yeah, like, but that's how you learn from them. Live and learn. Yeah. It's just like an inspirational video, isn't it? Video, isn't it? Again, deep. I regret being friends with someone. I like, think I know who that person is. <laughs> they would probably know if they watched it. Here we go. What do you do when no one else is around? Your face dropped there. Pick my nose. Flash. Um, what do I... I mean, yeah, everyone picks their nose. Come on. You can't just yeah, sit in front of people. Do you actually? <laughs> I see a pick a nose all the time. Um, I talk to myself. No. I, I talk to myself in a mirror. If you could have any tattoo, what would you have and why? Probably the butterfly one that I want on the back of my arm. I've got loads I want. I'm still debating like, whether to have a tattoo or not. Oh, I do. Basically, right, this is my story about work on. I gotta keep this wrist free. That wrist is too late. But I want my kids' names on my wrist. Basically, right, I want an anklet that apparently my ankle really hurts because it's on the bone. <laughs> so, like, I'm rethinking that. I want one on my thigh. Don't know what I want yet, though. And that's it at the moment. One on each thigh, and I really like it. Whoa! 
That sheep was literally hitting the car. No word of a lie. What are your top three biggest pet peeves? When I hate it when I'm speaking to someone, then they interrupt me and talk to someone else. Or you're having a conversation with someone and then their phone starts ringing and they decide to answer it when you're speaking to them. And when someone says they don't like Harry Styles. Not indicating. <laughs> Actually winds me up. Because I'm right, if you sat there on a the rainbow, wait for cars and cars and cars, and then I one car I could have gone, go to the other direction. There's those cars behind him. Just bad drivers. Yeah, just reset your test line. <laughs>